Hi there, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful Hanukkah. We're now closing in on the end of Sefer Bereshit. And we read of this dramatic moment this week where the brothers come back. Well, there's a lot of dramatic moments, but one of them is when the brothers of Yosef come back to their father Yaakov and they tell their father, Vayagidu lo lemor, od Yosef chai. Yosef is still alive. And he, by the way, he is the ruler of the land of Egypt. The Torah says, That his heart went, you know, uh, numb, he just he got despair. He, he didn't believe them. Now, traditionally, we explain this verse as referring to the last part of the verse, excuse me, as referring to Yaakov, that Yaakov didn't believe him. He, what are you talking, crazy? He's alive? He's been dead for 20 something years. He's not alive. You guys are out of your mind. Didn't believe him. But there is a second way you could understand the Pasuk. The pronouns here are vague. And this opens the door to another explanation that's given by our Yitzchak in his commentary on the Chumash Pe Kadosh. He says you know, that that traditional reading actually has a bit of a question to it. He says, Why didn't Jacob believe them that Joseph was still alive? What, what made him not believe? Why? Tell him he's alive. Stop. Period. End of thought. Why, does, why do they tell him? He is... The ruler of Egypt immediately. You know that if he knew that he was in charge of Egypt, this would actually cause great pain to Yaakov. Because what would he assume? He, he, he had basically thrown away all of the teachings of his of his father. Nothing probably would have made him actually more upset than to know that he was the ruler of Egypt. Because there's no way they would choose a leader in Egypt who didn't believe in the idolatry and in the ways of the Egyptian worship system. This is, this is, this is upsetting news if Yaakov were to hear this. So, so Rav Yitzchak Voloshner, he says, Upshuto shekach amrulo. This is what they meant. This is what they said. Yosef's still alive and he is the ruler in Egypt. Velotach shov alav. Dad, don't think, shekafar, that he has turned away from your teachings, that he's given up on God. Halila, that didn't happen. Ki be'emet vayafag libo, because Yosef's heart was the one who didn't, he was uh, numb to the idolatry of Egypt. Yosef hechlif libo, he turned away his heart from all the stuff going on around him, right? He shalibo lo kalev mitzrayim. His heart was not like the hearts of the Egyptians in the way that they believed. He didn't believe. He did a job there. He saved the Egyptians. He saved their their literally saved their lives. But he never was interested in their system of worship. He believed what his father had taught him. And then the next verse in the Torah talks about. That uh, they they tell they tell him the whole story in depth. They, they, they the brothers tell the whole story to Yaakov in depth. He sees the wagons, and he then he understands this is wow amazing that the whole story comes together. That indeed he while he's the ruler he has indeed kept his faith, and that's that whole midrash that it was a reminder. The wagons, the agalot, were a reminder of the egla arufa, the the uh, the law about the heifer that has his neck broken um, when there is a, a dead body that's found between two cities and the Midrash says, oh, this is the last thing they were learning together before Yosef disappeared. Because he understood that this is what this is teaching us is that he understood, ah, he kept his traditions. He kept his ways, even though he became the big deal that he was in Egypt. And what this hopefully should teach us is that while we are... Um, ingrained and involved with so many different things out there in the world, out there in the workplace, and 
It's great. We should be like Yosef. Make a difference out there. It's a part of a Jewish person's life to make a difference and an impact on the world at large, not just within the Jewish community. We are supposed to be, in or like Goyim, we're supposed to be that light that sheds the ways of God to the world. But at the end of the day, we also need to be true to our values, who we are, no matter the setting. And think about that. Yaakov was so proud of his son that he accomplished what he accomplished, but stayed true to the teachings of his parents, the values of his home. And how important it is that when we're out there, out and about, doing making our difference in the world, that we stay grounded to those values. May God, may God bless all of us to make that sort of impact, to make the Yosef impact on the world. But at the same time, staying true to who we are, being proud of who we are, even in the settings outside of the Jewish community. Have a Shabbat Shalom, everyone. And hopefully I'll see you in short.